Yo, what's going on? Alfie, founder of MasterTheMixing.com here. Today we're going to be talking about gain staging, the popular gain staging. It's always talked about gain staging. There's about a million videos on it, gain staging. Um, no, 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 I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, allow me. Um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to uh, overview it quickly. Uh, just kind of talk about what it is, its purpose, uh, the costs when you don't use it, the benefits of using it. Uh, so on and so forth. So, what is gain staging? All right. So, if you watched my previous video on signal flow, um, you'll have a bit of a head start here. If you haven't, I recommend uh you go to the channel when you find that, um, the mastermixing.com YouTube channel. Well, obviously, if you're watching this, you're already on the YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, well done, Alfie. Uh, what you want to do, basically, with gain staging is, um, everything has a signal, right? So here's us. Here are some snares. Jesus. Why is that so loud? Yeah, here's some snares. Now, before you even touch the levelers, yeah, um, these snare samples already have a preset volume to them, right? Now, what gain staging pretty much does is it makes sure that your input sources of sound aren't coming in too loud. Um what happens if they do come in too loud and you don't um do proper gain staging is a signal could come in too loud and it will hit one of your inserts so hit one of your plugins like a compressor and the compressor will start to distort it and make it sound shit <laughs> um that was mad aggressive i don't know why but it will make it sound shit because it's already coming in too loud and um, it's already like at the peak. It hasn't got much of a headroom. The compressor is just gonna um distort it and squash it and all of that because it's coming in too loud. Um, and this in turn will go on to affect your whole mix and not make it as beautiful as it could be. You want a lovely mix. You want a lovely mix. Um, like literally lovely lullaby. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you're gonna gain stage to make sure that it's coming in at the correct volume now. Different sources of inputs are going to require different leveling. There's not a one size fits all um, for the input source. Um, and also, there's there's sort of two ways that are commonly known um, to measure. And that's with VU or with DB or DBFS for long. Um, for now, I'd say don't worry too much about using VU unless you're doing actual analog um analog recordings and stuff like that with just digital dbfs is fine um dbfs is like this meter here uh dbs and stuff like that you want to be more monitoring these peaks than vu uh that's a bit more complicated but anyway let's say we, was, we wanted to gain stage these snares now um a good rule of thumb because like i said there's not a one size fits all uh sort of like level at which you want to always set everything to but a good rule of thumb is if you're in the green, you're in the good. Hey, I made that up just now. Oh, I'm, I'm legendary, man. But um, yeah, if you're in the green, you're in the good. So if we just, I'm going to set it to pre-fade and metering mode, which basically just lets me see how loud it's coming in. So as you can see, it's coming all the way up to just minus one. And obviously the max is zero in. Nothing can ever pass the zero positive zero db anything after that just gets squared off and distorted and crushed um so it's coming in already at minus one you see so what i would do is i wouldn't actually turn the meter down um no what you actually do is you go to the audio file itself just do it for all of them and you turn the gain on the actual file itself down so we want to be in the green you could see that it was yellow we want to make sure that everything we're mixing is in the green before we even begin. Um, so if I drop it to about, if I drop it to about twelve, you can see we're we're cleanly in the green, hitting that minus thirteen dB. Now some people, um, they like to have it at about minus twelve. Some people like to have it at minus eighteen. Uh, you know, so it's up to you. But just another um word of warning, just like you don't want it to come too hot. You don't want it to come in too quiet because what will happen is when you're starting to master and you're starting to bring all the volumes up, it will bring in all of the noise, the like low floor noise, the little hisses and stuff like that. That will come up with it. So that's why you never want to set it, um, set your instruments and your samples too low. Um, I'd say between 18 and minus, between minus 18 and minus 12, 
is is safe if you're in the green if you're as high as you can get while remaining green as high as you can get while remaining green let's put it as that so let's say i was beginning my mix checking the snares all right they're good to go because uh, they're coming in at a good volume yeah um without the vol the faders being touched nothing nothing like that um they're coming in nice now if i wanted to now amplify the signal of the snare even more with the fader i can do that you see i can do that all right that can be done um another example because that's audio but it works the same if we're using like a vst uh Contact will probably load the fastest. So be there or be square. Mm. Yeah, man, I sing from time to time. Um, not the greatest, but you have to just manage. Yeah, man. I knew I should have opened Omnisphere. All right, all right. It redeemed itself last minute. Let me just Alicia's keys, nice and light. Wait. I wonder what makes it exactly Alicia's keys. Like, what does that even mean? Anyway, so it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same setup with Alicia's keys. Um, come on, Alicia, don't be silly now. If I just quickly make a MIDI region, I think it's just such a. It's just so amazing to be a producer. I think it's the most slept on, um, sort of thing. Because at the end of the day, you've got to bear in mind that we're actually making music and music is like the most loved thing in the whole world like you can never take for granted this stuff but all right my little rant aside this is definitely not in the same key but it's all right so right so just like how with the audio file you could turn down the actual um signal of the file itself it's the same with all of the virtual instruments so here in contact they've got the um see you can go from minus infinity all the way up to like plus 12 db you can control the volume coming in so let's say it was too loud coming in let's go and look at the leveler again on pre-fader mode look yellow we don't like yellow we don't like it so what we do again is if we're in the green or in the good oh mm, see debatable debatable it's getting just a little bit yellowy green at the top so if you want to be even safer i drop that about 3 db now you're all good so this would be the piano track this would be the piano track all gain staged and ready to go into the mix so that fundamentally is gain staging um it can get a little bit more complex but that is the main thing um most of the time it doesn't need to get any more complex than that um just keep all of your uh signal flows in the green before they hit all your inserts and you should be good um hopefully you've enjoyed this video make sure you go and download our beat mix and secrets course it's phenomenal great review from a lot of producers like, honestly like the best the fastest way to improve your beats nearly instantly um you can find that in the link below or you can go to masterthemixing.com forward slash bm secrets um please like comment and subscribe um let me know what else you like to talk about just give me feedback about the video and all that good stuff all that great stuff and i'll be back with some new content soon mate all right sweet peace